Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. In this video, we'll solve a few syllogism questions where some not type of conclusions are given. Many candidates face difficulty in solving these types of problems. But if the concept is understood clearly, these questions are quite easy to answer. This is one of the topics where marks can be scored easily if practiced well. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notification as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. Remember these points when you have to identify which conclusions follow and which conclusions do not follow when conclusions are of the type some not. When conclusions are of the type sum not, just check whether all of the first element of the conclusion can go inside the second element of the conclusion. If all of the first element can go inside the second element of the conclusion, then the sum not conclusion is wrong. If all of the first element cannot go inside the second element of the conclusion, then the sum not conclusion is correct. Remember these points uh, clearly to solve uh, syllogism problems where conclusions are given which are of the type sum not. In this problem, you are given three statements and two conclusions. Fun find out which of these conclusions follow from the logic given in these statements to do that first you have to draw venn diagram for these statements so first let's look at the statements some comet is sun all sun is planet no planet is earth so first let's draw a venn diagram for these statements some comet is sun this means in the Venn diagram, there has to be a partial overlap between comets and sun. All sun is planet. This means all of the sun should be inside planets. No planet is earth. So draw a circle for earth and draw a line with a cross from planets to earth to indicate that no planet is earth. So this is the Venn diagram for the given statements. Now, based on this Venn diagram, let's find out which of the given conclusions follow. Conclusion 1. Some comet is not Earth. Now, to find out if this conclusion follows or not, just check if all of the comet can go inside Earth. Now, here in the Venn diagram, you have comet here and Earth here. Now, as you can see, planet cannot have any relation with Earth. Now, this part of comet is inside planet. So, definitely this part of comet also cannot have any relation with Earth. So, this part of comet will not go inside Earth. Now, since this part of comet cannot go inside Earth, it means that all of the comet definitely cannot go inside earth so since all comet cannot go inside earth it means that the conclusion some comet is not earth is correct now understand the logic here all comets cannot go inside earth means all comets are not earth now, if all comets are not Earth, then definitely some comets are also not Earth. So, the conclusion some comet is not Earth is correct. Conclusion 1 follows. Conclusion 2. Some planet is not comet. To check if this conclusion follows or not, uh, see in the Venn diagram if all the planet can go inside comet so you have planet here and comet here clearly as you can see in this venn diagram planets uh, cannot have any relation with uh, earth but there is no restriction for planets 
to have a relation with comets so clearly all of planets can go inside comets now since all planets can go inside comet it means that the uh, conclusion some planet is not comet is wrong now understand the logic here all planets can go inside comet means all planets are comets now if all planets are comets you cannot say some planet is not comet so the conclusion some planet is not comet is wrong conclusion 2 does not follow now as you can see here only conclusion 1 follows so the correct answer is option a only conclusion 1 follows in this problem you are given three statements and two conclusions let's find out which of these conclusions follow from the logic given in the statements to do that first you have to draw a venn diagram for the given statements so first let's look at the statements all banana is mango some mango is apple no apple is orange so let's first draw a venn diagram for these statements all banana is mango this means in the venn diagram all banana should be inside mango some mango is apple this means there has to be a partial overlap between mango and apple no apple is orange so draw a circle for orange then draw a line with a cross from apple to orange to indicate that no apple is orange now this is the venn diagram for the given statements now based on this venn diagram let's find out which of the given conclusions follow conclusion 1 some mango is not orange now to find out if this conclusion follows or not just check in the venn diagram if all mango can go inside orange so in this venn diagram you have mango here and orange here clearly here you can see that apple cannot have any relation with orange now this portion of mango is inside apple so this part of mango also cannot have any relation with orange so this part of mango cannot go inside orange now if this part of mango cannot go inside orange it means that all mango also cannot go inside orange now since all mango cannot go inside orange the it means that the conclusion some mango is not orange is correct now the logic here is all mango cannot go inside orange means all mango are not orange now if all mango are not orange it obviously means some mango also is not orange so the conclusion some mango is not orange is correct conclusion 1 follows conclusion 2 some orange is not banana to find out if this conclusion follows or not just check in the venn diagram if all orange can go inside banana so you have orange here and banana here clearly you can see in this venn diagram that orange cannot have any relation with apple but there is no restriction for orange to have a relation with bananas so all orange can definitely go inside bananas now since all orange can go inside banana it means that the conclusion some orange is not banana is wrong the logic here is all orange can go inside banana means all orange is banana if all orange is banana then you cannot say some orange is not banana so the conclusion some orange is not banana is wrong conclusion 2 does not follow so as you can see here only conclusion 1 follows 
the correct answer is option a only conclusion 1 follows in this question you are given three statements and two conclusions to find out which of these uh, conclusions follow from the logic given in these statements first you have to draw a venn diagram for these statements so first let's look at the statements no town is city some city is village some village is state so first let's draw a venn diagram for these statements no town is city so first draw a circle for town and a circle for city draw a line with a cross between town and city to indicate that no town is city some city is village this means there is a partial overlap between uh, city and village some village is state this means there is a partial overlap between village and state so this is the venn diagram for the given statements now based on this venn diagram let's check if which of the given conclusions follow conclusion 1 some village is not town now to find out if this conclusion follows or not just check in the venn diagram if all village can go inside town so you have village here and town here in this venn diagram now as you can see here in this venn diagram a city cannot have a relation with town now this part of village is inside city so this part of village also cannot have any relation with town this means this part of village cannot go inside town now if this part of village cannot go inside town this means that all of the village cannot also go inside town now since all village cannot go inside town this means that the conclusion some village is not town is correct the logic here is all village cannot go inside town means all village are not town now if all village are not town definitely some village also is not town so the conclusion some village is not town is correct conclusion 1 follows conclusion 2 some city is not state now to find out if this conclusion follows or not check in the venn diagram if all city can go inside state now as you can see in this venn diagram city is here and state is here so here you can see that city cannot have any relation with town but there is no restriction for city to have a relation with state so all city can definitely go inside states so if all city can go inside state it means the conclusion some city is not state is wrong the logic here is all city can go inside state means all city are state now if all city are state then uh, you cannot say uh, some city is not state so the conclusion some city is not state is wrong conclusion 2 does not follow now as you can see here only conclusion 1 follows so the correct answer is option a only conclusion 1 follows in this question you are given four statements and three conclusions let's find out which of these conclusions follow from the logic given in these statements to do that first we have to draw a venn diagram for these statements so first let's look at the statements some black is red all red is yellow some yellow is green no green is pink so let's draw a venn diagram for these statements some black is red this means there has to be a partial overlap between black and red all red is yellow so all red should be inside yellow 
some yellow is green this means there has to be a partial overlap between yellow and green no green is pink so draw a circle for pink and then draw a line with a cross from green to pink to indicate that no green is pink now this is the venn diagram for the given statements now based on this venn diagram let's check which of the given conclusions follow conclusion 1 some yellow is not pink now to check if this a uh, conclusion follows or not just see in the venn diagram if all yellow can go inside pink so you have yellow here and pink here as you can see in this venn diagram green cannot have any relation with pink now this part of yellow is inside green this means this part of yellow also cannot have any relation with pink this means this part of yellow cannot go inside pink now if this part of yellow cannot go inside pink it means that all else all yellow also cannot go inside pink now if all yellow cannot go inside pink it means the conclusion some yellow is not pink is correct the logic here is all yellow cannot go inside pink means all yellow are not pink so this means that some yellow also is not pink so the conclusion some yellow is not pink is correct conclusion 1 follows conclusion 2 some black is yellow so in this venn diagram you have black here and yellow here as you can see there is a partial overlap between black and yellow this means this part of black is yellow that is some black is yellow so the conclusion some black is yellow is correct conclusion 2 follows conclusion 3 some pink is not red now to find out if this conclusion follows or not just check in the venn diagram if all pink can go inside red so you have pink here and red here now as you can see in this venn diagram pink cannot have any relation with green but there is no restriction for pink to have any relation with red so all of pink can easily go inside red now if all pink can go inside red it means that the conclusion some pink is not red is wrong the logic here is all pink can go inside red means all pink are red now if all pink are red then you cannot say some pink is not red so the conclusion some pink is not red is wrong conclusion 3 does not follow so as you can see here conclusion 1 follows and conclusion 2 follows so the correct answer is option c both conclusions 1 and 2 follow in this question there are three statements and two conclusions to find out which of these conclusions follow from the logic given in these statements first we have to draw a venn diagram for these statements so first let's look at the statements some soup is tea no tea is coffee all coffee is water so first let's draw a venn diagram for these statements some soup is tea so in the venn diagram there has to be a partial overlap between soup and tea no tea is coffee so draw a circle for coffee and draw a line with a cross from tea to coffee to indicate that no tea is coffee all coffee is water so in the venn diagram all coffee should be inside water now this is the venn diagram for the given statements now based on this venn diagram let's find out which of the given conclusions follow conclusion 1 some water is not tea 
to find out if this conclusion follows or not just check in the venn diagram if all water can go inside t now you have water here and t here now as you can see in this venn diagram this part of water is coffee and coffee cannot have any relation with t so this part of water cannot have any relation with t and hence this part of water cannot go inside t now if this part of water cannot go inside t it obviously means that all water cannot go inside t now since all water cannot go inside t the conclusion some water is not t is correct the logic here is all water cannot go inside t means all water is not t this obviously means that some water also is not t so the conclusion some water is not t is correct and conclusion 1 follows conclusion 2 some soup is not coffee to find out if this conclusion follows or not just check in the venn diagram if all soup can go inside coffee so you have soup here and coffee here now as you can see in this venn diagram t cannot have a relation with coffee now this portion of soup is inside t so this portion of soup also ca cannot have any relation with coffee so this part of soup cannot go inside coffee now if this part of soup cannot go inside coffee it means that all soup also cannot go inside coffee now since all soup cannot go inside coffee the conclusion some soup is not coffee is correct the logic here is all soup cannot go inside coffee means all soup are not coffee now if all soup are not coffee it clearly means that some soup also are not coffee so the conclusion some soup is not coffee is correct conclusion 2 follows now as you can see here conclusion 1 follows conclusion 2 follows so the correct answer is option c both conclusions 1 and 2 follow in this question there are four statements and three conclusions let's find out which of the given conclusions follow from the logic given in the statements so first to do that you have to draw a venn diagram for the given statements so first let's look at the statements some pen is scale all scale is eraser all eraser is book no book is paper so first let's draw a venn diagram for these statements some pen is scale so in the venn diagram there has to be a partial overlap between pen and scale all scale is eraser this means all of scale should be inside eraser all eraser is book this means all of eraser should be inside book no book is paper so draw a circle for paper and draw a line with a cross mark from book to paper to indicate that no book is paper so this is the venn diagram for the given statements now based on this venn diagram let's check which of the given conclusions follow conclusion 1 some eraser is not paper now to find out if this conclusion follows or not just check in the venn diagram if all eraser can go inside paper so you have eraser here and paper here now as you can see in this venn diagram book cannot have any relation with paper now here all of the eraser is inside books so clearly all eraser also cannot have any relation with paper this means all eraser cannot go inside paper 
So if all eraser cannot go inside paper, the conclusion sum eraser is not paper is correct. Now the logic here is all eraser cannot go inside paper means all erasers are not paper. Now if all erasers are not paper, it obviously means some erasers are also not paper. So some eraser is not paper is correct. Conclusion 1 follows. Conclusion 2. Some scale is not book. To find out if this conclusion follows or not, just check in the Venn diagram if all scale can go inside book. Now, as you can see in this Venn diagram, scale is here and book is here. Now, now clearly you can see that all scale is inside book. So, since all scale is inside book, it means that the conclusion some scale is not book is wrong. The logic here is all scale is inside book means all scales are books. So, if all scales are books, you cannot say some scale is not book. So, the conclusion some scale is not book is wrong. Conclusion 2 does not follow. Conclusion 3. Some paper is not pen. Now to see if this conclusion follows or not, just check in the Venn diagram if all paper can go inside pen. So you have paper here and pen here. As you can see, paper cannot have a relation with book. But there is no restriction for paper to have any relation with this part of pen. So clearly all paper can go inside this part of pen. Now since all paper can go inside pen, it means some paper is not pen is wrong. The logic here is all paper can go inside pen means all paper is pen. If all paper is pen, you cannot say some paper is not pen. So the conclusion some paper is not pen is wrong. Conclusion 3 does not follow. Now as you can see here only conclusion 1 follows. So the correct answer is option A only conclusion 1 follows. In this question you are given 4 statements and 3 conclusions. Let's find out which of the given conclusions follow from the logic given in these statements. To do that, first you have to draw a Venn diagram for the given statements. Now the statements are some number is symbol, no symbol is letter, some letter is alphabet, no alphabet is vowel. So first let's draw a Venn diagram for these statements. Some number is symbol. This means in the Venn diagram there has to be a partial overlap between number and symbol. No symbol is letter. So draw a circle for letter and draw a line with a cross from um, symbol to letter to indicate that no symbol is letter. Some letter is alphabet. So there has to be a partial overlap between letter and alphabet. No alphabet is vowel. So draw a circle for vowel and draw a line with a cross mark between alphabet and vowel to indicate that no alphabet is vowel. So this is the Venn diagram for the given statements. Now based on this Venn diagram, let's find out which of the given conclusions follow. Conclusion 1. Some number is not letter. To check if this uh, conclusion follows or not, just see in the Venn diagram if all number can go inside letter. So you have number here and letter here in the Venn diagram. Now as you can see, symbol cannot have any relation with letter. Now this part of number is inside symbol. 
this means this part of number also cannot have any relation with letter so this part of number cannot go inside letter now if this part of number cannot go inside letter it means all number cannot go inside letter now since all number cannot go inside letter it means the conclusion some number is not letter is correct the logic here is all number cannot go inside letter means all number are not letters if all numbers are not letter it obviously means that some numbers are also not letters so the conclusion some number is not letter is correct conclusion 1 follows conclusion 2 some alphabet is not symbol to find out if this conclusion follows or not just check in the venn diagram if all alphabet can go inside symbol now in this venn diagram you can see that alphabets are here and symbol is here now as you can see letter cannot have any relation with symbol now this part of alphabet is inside letter so this part of alphabet also cannot have any relation with symbol so this part of alphabet will definitely not go inside symbol now since this part of alphabet will not go inside symbol clearly it means that all alphabet also cannot go inside symbol since all alphabet cannot go inside symbol it means that the conclusion some alphabet is not symbol is correct the logic here is all alphabet cannot go inside symbol means all alphabets are not symbols now if all alphabets are not symbols it clearly means some alphabets also are not symbols so the conclusion some alphabet is not symbol is correct conclusion 2 follows conclusion 3 some vowel is not letter to find out if this conclusion follows or not just check in the venn diagram if all vowel can go inside letter so you have vowel here and letter here in the venn diagram now as you can see vowel cannot have any relation with alphabet also vowels cannot have any relation with this part of letters but there is no restriction for vowels to have any relation with this part of letters so all vowels can easily go inside this part of letters so if all vowels can go inside letters it means the conclusion some vowel is not letter is wrong the logic here is all vowels can go inside letter means all vowels are letters if all vowels are letters you cannot say some vowel is not letter so the conclusion some vowel is not letter is wrong conclusion 3 does not follow now as you can see here conclusion 1 follows conclusion 2 follows so the correct answer is option c both conclusions 1 and 2 follow in this question there are three statements and two conclusions let's find out which of these conclusions follow from the logic given in these statements to do that first we have to draw a venn diagram for these statements the statements are some bucket is plastic all bottle is jug no jug is bucket So first let's draw a Venn diagram for these statements. Some bucket is plastic. This means there has to be a partial overlap between bucket and plastic in the Venn diagram. All bottle is jug. We'll consider this statement later. The next statement says no jug is bucket. So draw a circle for jug and draw a line with a cross mark between uh, jug and bucket to indicate that no jug is bucket now the second statement is all 
bottle is jug so in the venn diagram all bottle should be inside jug now this is the venn diagram for the given statements now based on this venn diagram let's check which of the given conclusions follow conclusion 1 some plastic is not jug now to find out if this conclusion follows or not just check in the venn diagram if all plastic can go inside jug so you have plastic here and jug here in the venn diagram now as you can see clearly bucket cannot have any relation with jug now this portion of plastic is inside bucket so clearly this portion of plastic also cannot have any relation with jug so this part of plastic cannot go inside jug now if this part of plastic cannot go inside jug it means that all plastic also cannot go inside jug now if all plastic cannot go inside jug it means the conclusion some plastic is not jug is correct the logic here is all plastic cannot go inside jug means all plastic are not jug if all plastic are not jug clearly some plastic also is not jug so the conclusion some plastic is not jug is correct conclusion 1 follows conclusion 2 no bottle is bucket so you have bottle here and bucket here in the venn diagram as you can see jug cannot have any relation with bucket now since all bottle is inside jug clearly all bottle also cannot have any relation with bucket this means no bottle is bucket so the conclusion no bottle is bucket is correct conclusion 2 follows now as you can see here conclusion 1 follows conclusion 2 follows so the correct answer is option c both conclusions 1 and 2 follow in this question there are four statements and three conclusions Let's find out which of these conclusions follow based on the logic given in these statements. To do that first we have to draw a Venn diagram for these statements. Now the statements are no man is good. All good is beautiful. No beautiful is women. Some women is polite. Now first let's draw a Venn diagram for these statements. no man is good so first draw a circle for man and a circle for good in the venn diagram draw a line with a cross mark between um, man and good to indicate that no man is good all good is beautiful this means all good should be inside beautiful no beautiful is women so draw a circle for women and draw a line with a cross mark between beautiful and women to indicate that no beautiful is women some women is polite so there has to be a partial overlap between women and polite now this is the venn diagram for the given statements now based on this venn diagram let's check which of the given conclusions follow conclusion 1 some polite is not beautiful so to find out if this conclusion follows or not just check in the venn diagram if all polite can go inside beautiful so you have polite here and beautiful here in this venn diagram now as you can see women cannot have any relation with beautiful now this part of polite is inside women so clearly this part of polite also cannot have any relation with beautiful this means that this part of polite cannot go inside beautiful now if this part of polite cannot go inside beautiful it means all polite also cannot go inside beautiful since all polite cannot go inside beautiful 
it means that this conclusion sum polite is not beautiful is correct the logic here is all polite cannot go inside beautiful means all polite are not beautiful if all polite are not beautiful it obviously means some polite also are not beautiful so the conclusion some polite is not beautiful is correct conclusion 1 follows conclusion 2 no man is beautiful so in the venn diagram you have man here and beautiful here now clearly you can see that man cannot have any relation with uh good so man cannot have any relation with this part of beautiful which is good but there is no restriction for man to have a relation with this part of beautiful so man can have a relation with this part of beautiful so you cannot say no man is beautiful so the conclusion no man is beautiful is wrong conclusion 2 does not follow conclusion 3 no good is women so you have good here and women here now as you can see beautiful cannot have any relation with women now since all good is inside beautiful it means all good also cannot have any relation with women all good cannot have a relation with women means no good is a woman so the conclusion no good is a woman is correct conclusion 3 follows now as you can see here conclusion 1 follows conclusion 3 follows so the correct answer is option d both conclusions 1 and 3 follow So viewers please go through this video till you have understood the concept clearly practice more such problems to increase your speed and also to be perfect with the concept of venn diagrams and definite conclusions of the type sum not please do watch our video for solved problems on possibility conclusions in syllogism if you have liked this video please like subscribe and share this video thank you